Imagine you want to buy apples. When the price is low, you probably want to buy more. When the price is high, you probably want to buy less. If everyone's behaviour is like you, you can plot a downward sloping demand curve of price against the quantity demanded. Here, we introduce a measure to describe the change in quantity demanded when the price changes. The own price elasticity of demand is the percentage change in quantity demanded when the price changes by 1%. When the demand curve is downward sloping, the own price elasticity is negative. When the quantity demanded is very responsive to a change in price, we say the demand is elastic. The absolute value of elasticity is greater than 1. This tends to be the case for goods that have closed substitutes. For example, if the price of Uber rides increases, demands may fall by a lot because commuters can turn to other ride-hailing services or take alternative forms of transport like taxis or public buses. An extreme theoretical example is when the demand curve is fully horizontal. We call this perfectly elastic demand, where the elasticity is infinite. In contrast, when the quantity demanded is not very responsive to a change in price, we say that demand is inelastic. The absolute value of elasticity is less than 1. For example, if a pharmaceutical drug has hardly any closed substitutes, the demand for it will just drop a little, even when the manufacturer increases price by a lot. Consumers have no choice, as the drug is necessary to maintain their health. An extreme example is when the demand curve is fully vertical. We call this perfectly inelastic demand, where the elasticity is equal to zero. It's important to understand that elasticity is not equal to the slope of a demand curve. This is because elasticity is based on percentage changes, while the graph is based on absolute values. If we decompose the formula, we get it in this form. This term, the ratio of change in price to change in quantity, is known as the elasticity coefficient and is also the slope of the demand function. Note that the demand function is not the demand curve. We can, however, rearrange the terms to get the equation for the demand curve. So here, we can see that the slope of the curve is the reciprocal of the elasticity coefficient, which is the change in price divided by the change in quantity demanded. For example, if the demand curve for apples is as such, we can rearrange the equation to get the demand function for apples. So we know that the demand elasticity coefficient of apples is minus 2, which means that the own price elasticity of demand for apples is as such. Now, by studying the function for elasticity, we can observe that it is not constant. It very much depends on which point of the curve we're examining. For example, at a high price of $10, the quantity demanded will be 10 units. The price elasticity here is minus 2. And at a low price of $5, the quantity demanded will be 20 units, and the price elasticity here is minus 0 0.5. And for a downward sloping demand curve, there's this unique point where the elasticity is minus 1. We call this the unitary elasticity point. An interesting point to note is that the total revenue is maximized at this point. If we multiply the price by the number of units, the total revenue to the sellers is $112.50. At the other two points we calculated earlier, the total revenue is lower at $100. Another significance of this unitary elasticity point is that it's the dividing point between the elastic region and inelastic region of the demand curve. An increase in price moves us to the elastic region of the curve, where the percentage decrease in quantity demanded is greater than the percentage increase in price, resulting in a decrease in total revenue. A decrease in price from this point moves us into the inelastic region, where the percentage increase in quantity demanded is less than the percentage decrease in price, resulting again in a decrease in total revenue. Let's work on an example. 
The demand function for e-scooters is as follows. Calculate the own price elasticity of demand for e-scooters at a price of $500 and state whether demand is elastic or inelastic at this price point. Pause the video now and work out your answer. And we're back. First, we calculate the quantity demanded at that price point. Plug in $500 into the demand function and we get a quantity of 9,000. Now, know that the slope of the demand function is minus 6, so the function for elasticity of e-scooter demand is as such. Plug in the price and quantity and we get an elasticity of minus 0 0.33. As the absolute value of the elasticity is less than 1, demand is inelastic at this price point. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.